Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Final Fantasy Revexus video. This is going to be a pretty quick one. So, we're going to be doing the True Weltall or 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 um, Weltall fight. So, 100% evasion, 100% provoke, and also 100% immunity to status effects, but I don't think we really need that much. Nothing on Aerith. Uh, nothing on her tag chaining either. That froth, um, 300% low burst damage, 295% machine killer, uh, which which is fine, and all the stuff, uh, as usual. Is a vision card, but I'm not sure if that's necessary either. A <laughs> 10,000 attack, not even capped. I I can't cap it until I get equipped close. I don't think that would even do anything either. Uh, that would just raise his attack a little bit uh, more, but I don't think it's going to do much. Because unfortunately his equip close, I mean his STMR doesn't help him in this form, which is, is understandable I suppose. So, plus 300% will increase damage, and hit their vision card as well, so... I suppose this could be changed for something else, but not going to worry too much about it. So, let us get into it, shall we? First turn. I'm going to go ahead and use pull down here, and then I guess the, the, the other ones don't really matter too much. As long as that cooldown's used. Use the Machine Killer buff. Grandis. Cooldown, and then as long as you're using this cooldown, the other ones don't really matter too much. Because that's, that's his huge modifier buff. The first one. The other one is just whatever. All good. Now, even though we don't have 300% little burst, or any kind of little burst damage on Faye right now, apparently it's still fine. Apparently it's still fine. So... Yep. Okay, well, I mean, that's that. I, I, I keep missing out. I, I keep trying to do Faye, but I keep... He has to go first, I think. He, I really feel like he has to go first. Because it's kind of like, really, it's kind of fast in the beginning, but it's, then it's kind of slow at the end. So, really need to time that a little bit better, but it still doesn't even matter. It's a joke. With Faye and Sephiroth, I mean, it's like a joke. Faye did more damage than Sephiroth! Oh my god, I think I mistimed that and I still didn't do- I think I still did more damage. So yeah, even though he doesn't have any little burst damage at all, he still does more damage than Sephiroth when he has the- the Grandis ability being used. That's- that's really interesting. So that mu- um, that's- I- I- I guess he's- yeah, he's just stronger on the first turn. Obviously in the next turn I think he'd be stronger, Sephiroth, but- Alright guys, I think that's gonna do it uh, for this video. Wow, you get stuff for that too, apparently. Apparently that's farmable. I wouldn't farm that. That's like almost nothing. Uh, yeah, so 10,000 attack. This could probably be changed for something that gives an attack percentage, but I don't think we have anything for that. I found something. It's not really that much more. It was, it was barely, it was only 100 more. So is that worth it? Maybe. But anyways guys, this will be just be a very short, quick, quick video. This is the TMR, Limit Burst Damage, Machine Killers, and also Lightning Zest TMR Vision Card. That's it. You can't equip anything else. Unless you want to equip it, but I wouldn't do that. Because he has all the stats because he's unarmed. So, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. And I hope to see you in the very next video. Peace!